Hi guys, it's Jasmine here again. If you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. Um, if you're interested, I do have other videos on mostly it's makeup subscription monthly services. Um, I do have a, other, a couple other videos on reviews of makeup products, but today is something completely different. Um, as you can see, I'm pretty much without any makeup, um, but I am going to be trying out some stuff from AliExpress, um, and it's actually for microblading. Now I am not a licensed um, microblader. I don't like, I've never done this before. Though I have actually went in and got it professionally done and I've just been noticing that she didn't do my eyebrows. They're, they're not completely symmetric. Um, they never have been uh, even before I had the microbladed, but I did really enjoy uh, having that microblading done because it did darken my eyebrows, so I felt like I didn't have to always apply um, makeup or brow products to them. Um, so that's what I liked, but I did. I have been finding um, the last time I actually did my eyebrows uh, was in December of 2016. Now it is September of 2017, so it has been about... Uh, nine months since I have gotten them done so I am finding a little bit of fading so I thought um, instead of spending the three four hundred dollars to get them touched up I thought um, let's be brave and I would try them myself um, now in no way am I saying go ahead and do this at home um, this is to your discretion I just feel like I can do it I've done gel nails by myself um, I've put on false lashes by myself so I'm very like DIY try it yourself kind of thing so that's why I'm gonna try it but by no means go out and buy these items and do it yourself I um, also have the links I'll probably have the links down in the bottom bar uh, from the places or the items that I bought um, from AliExpress because all of them is literally from AliExpress. Um, so okay guys, so you can see I've taken off my makeup and I have already um, drawn in my brows or stenciled them in as to what I would like them to um, look like. Now you might notice in some of my videos that my one eyebrow is higher than the other. It is. Um, and I do have lots of um, <laughs> emotion showing in my face. So my eyebrows kind of do all weird things all the time. Um, that's just the way it is. But the items that I am going to be using today, it came in this package actually as a twosome. Kind of a ruler in there which you can use. And then it all had a uh, pen to stencil on your eyebrows with. Now there is a small um, fine tip and then there's also the larger tip depending on which one you'd want to use. So I like that how it's dual ended as well um, and it actually went on really nicely. It's a blue um, and it does take a little bit to rub it off but this is a surgical skin marker. Um, and then I bought um, these here which is going to hold the pigment which I got my pigment um, in already. Um, so it looks like this. It's just a little finger thing so you could literally take your tool with the um, needles on it and stick it in the pigment and then go ahead and, and do your brows. Um, but I also did purchase this item which is a measuring tool. So I did um, put it on my like the center of my nose and I kind of measured out um, height wise lengthwise um, I brought it lower so I could kind of measure all over um, and then I used the pen to kind of stencil it out so this actually was super handy um, and then I also purchased um, two types of um, needles now they do come in packages that are sterilized um, the one looks like this and then I think actually um, they're like different amounts of needles in them. But the other one looks like that. It's more round. Um, so I didn't know which one I wanted or which one would be better. But I did put in the more pointed one for today. And then this was a little pen um, and that, that you, or I guess applicator that you can use to put in the needle. And then of course, obviously the pigments, I got two, one in the color chocolate and the other one 
called undertone coffee now they are a little bit different I did put more of the undertone coffee in rather than just the chocolate because my brows I don't want them super dark but at the same time I also did dye my hair quite blonde so I wanted it to be on the lighter side of my eyebrows um, but let's get into it and see how this goes wish me luck okay so this is my current state of my eyebrows now you can see see they even still look off um, but you can definitely see that even when I had them microbladed like she missed quite a lot here and then this part is good so I actually measured it out to that part um, but yeah like they're my eyebrows are never gonna be perfect but We'll try and fix that. Now, I don't have any type of numbing cream on at all. I'm just going in this and hoping for the best. So I'm going to take um, my little paint here, or ink, I guess, and then pick up some of that on the tip of my brush. And now I'm just going to go... I'm going to start actually in the middle just in case I screw up and might not want to do this. Now one thing I do remember is <laughs> that it kind of twitches with your eye um, and you might cry. Makes me want to sneeze. <laughs> Woo. No, I don't know if you could see what I'm doing. I'm just making hair like strokes. I'm closing my eye because it feels better. Okay, well you can see that I have made hairline strokes and they are quite far apart. I'm just going to let that sit on there, do a little bit on the top pointing downwards and then I will remove it and I can fill in any extra spots. Um, if you are wondering what it's feeling like, it is tugging at my eye, making little tiny cuts um, and it does feel almost like a burning kind of sensation. Um, but so far, so good. Okay, so now that I've made a few marks, I am going to remove it to see if, it, if I went deep enough. So you can take a look at that compared to this. <clears throat> so you can see the little tiny scrape marks in here. If you can see right up close here. It's actually looking quite nice. And I'll go in again. So when I'm doing this, I'm actually following the blue line and kind of hitting on top of it.
Okay guys, so this is what the process looks like after I've microbladed. So what ended up happening is, obviously you can see my eyes are a little bit um, puffy, um, but what I did is I just um, made tiny little um, hair strokes and then um, when I would have enough pigment on there kind of thing, like too much that I couldn't see what I was doing, I would wipe it off, um, do some more hair strokes, fill in what I've missed, and then when I was relatively happy with um, how it looked, I slapped on some more of the ink to just sit on my eyebrows and in the cuts um, to let them kind of marinate, if you will. Um, because when you're wiping off the pigment, um, sometimes it doesn't actually stick in your brows so you need it kind of to sit on there for a little bit just to marinate in and hopefully pull some of the ink into your skin now this is very superficial these cuts are very superficial by no means was i um making lots of pressure it was just on the superficial um layers of the skin so this is not permanent this is a, a temporary temporary permanent tattoo um so it will eventually fade once the skin um peels and everything like that and does its natural um shedding cycle um now to note too is that i am going to leave this on here for probably about 10 minutes and then i will remove it um for care um i would put on vaseline but you do not want to put any makeup around your eyebrow area as it is freshly cut um so no makeup on it um try not to get it wet it will go through a process of scabbing and then once it scabs it'll scab off but don't don't try and pick the scab off um just let it fall off on its own and then once everything is fully healed, it usually takes about a week and a half, two weeks. That's how long it took me at least last time. Um, so once the two weeks are up, um, you'll see more what your eyebrows are going to look like. At first, when they're healing, they're going to be super dark. Um, but don't worry, that pigment is going to lighten as it's just really dark because of the scabbing process. Um, but at the end, in a month's time, roughly, if you see some spots that you missed or you wanted to add, um, you can definitely go in there and do that. That usually when you go to get your eyebrows microbladed they tell you to come back within four to six weeks to go for an additional um a, an additional or a, a fixer upper um i know when i went the lady didn't want to go too crazy because you can't remove it right um so if i did do a crappy job i'm stuck with these eyebrows until they kind of fade away um so it's better to do less is more right you can always add more if you want to but if you add too much you definitely can't take it away too is that when so you I'm go and get it professionally done done they do have a numbing cream that they put on before you they do your microblading whereas i didn't have that so if you wanted to you definitely could take like a tylenol to help ease the pain um but i didn't i just thought let's just do this now um so i'll be back in a little bit and show you what it's like to remove the ink and so I have left my brows on to marinate for about actually longer than 10 minutes probably has been like 15 20 minutes um, but let's just remove the ink and see what I'm left with They are looking really nice actually. I'm very happy. Okay, so you can kind of see my eyebrow now and see all these little tiny hair strokes that I made throughout here. Um, I don't know if it'll show. But you can see that most of those markings are the eyebrow. Um, now, if I was wearing makeup, that would look pretty freaking awesome. But let's remove the other one. And again, you can see all the tiny little hairs. And I did a pretty good job at making them even. 
Um, this one looks a little bit more straight, whereas this one looks a little bit rounded. But I do think I'll have to add just a couple more pieces um, in here. But other than that, it looks really nice. So that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. It just shows how easy it is to microblade your eyebrows yourself. Everything together for sure was under 20 bucks. Um, so I'm super happy. I think it looks um, really good considering I did this for the very first time at home. Um, but we'll see what the healing process is like. If you like these kind of videos, please do uh, like, comment, and subscribe down below. I do have some other items from AliExpress that I will be uh, reviewing and kind of doing a try-on haul to show you what I've got. Um, I've got a haul for bathing suits, um, and I also have some clothing items and some makeup beauty items. So if you'd like to see those types of videos, please do like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, you can check out my other videos to see subscription services or makeup reviews. And I think that's about it. Until next time, take care, guys. Bye.